the KHQA Student Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Blessing Health System. Lake County is a very heavy, heavy baseball school. They've a lot of their players go on to play at the next level, and uh, I knew that from the start with talking to Coach Cummings. He he runs that program great, and he he does some great things. And um, you know, it's as long as I can play baseball is what I want to do. If I can keep playing for three, four years, then you know that's what I want to do. And um, so I I have a good feeling that uh, if I keep working hard, that I can get to that that next level even after the JUCO route and going to Lake County. His passion, his intelligence, and his unyielding work ethic position Southeastern catcher Owen Rigg ideally for the challenge of pursuing collegiate baseball. It doesn't hurt here either that Owen is blessed with as good a family support system towards that endeavor as you can find, including an unbelievable coaching resource right at his own kitchen table. Oh, I mean, that's that's the big thing he was the one that got me into it you know he um and then he was the one that like there's some late nights where i'm like he's been at school all day and and i'm like do i ask him to go work on stuff do i not and then every time i ask him he's like yep let's let's go you know he never tells me no he's always pushed me very hard and and you know his his knowledge and things that he's taught me are, are big. You know, I would not be the same baseball player without him. I don't think I'd be going to college to play baseball if I didn't have him as my coach. And in choosing Lake County, Owen Rigg is also rejuvenating an historic Southeastern Lake to that program in following in the footsteps of the late great Devin Van Broker. It was awesome when you know I got the message from coach and uh, my dad was like well that's that's where Devin went to school and he's like I saw a shirt from Devin and you know it's it's a really big honor his parents gave us a couple of his jerseys that he had and you know sometimes I feel like I might not be deserving of that but I'm very honored to have those things and you know I will um, it's just really cool and funny how that works out you know my dad coaching Devin and and all those things and yeah you know I, I hope to be the baseball player that Devin was. It is a standing credit to Owen's fierce competitive streak and diligence that baseball wasn't his only contribution to Sun Sports or even cooperative athletics with West Prairie on the gridiron. Baseball's always been my number one so I've always taken that the most serious and then basketball's been the number two but you know Football m might have been my number one or number two if I would have had it when I was younger, but starting sophomore year, it just, it was a fun thing to do, and I loved all the guys playing, and it was a great time, but at one point I had to focus on what I'm actually the best at and what I can um, pursue in my career to play at the next level. Given his proud family roots in Augusta, it is a particular pride to Owen to have helped make basketball history for Southeastern with that junior year sectional title. You know, my dad would always tell me, he's like, basketball teams don't come around like that very often, and he's like, you're very lucky to be on that team, especially to be a starter on that team, you know, and uh, I mean, it would, it would be awesome just to go play one more game with all those guys. But it is baseball that will be his ultimate legacy having found the right creative and intellectual niche for himself in catching. A catch-all for an honor roll student who lives to compete. You know, with the catching, you got to be aware of everything. you got to make sure everybody knows what's going on. And um, there, there's a lot to handle in terms of giving signs to your pitcher and making sure that the guys know um, where they're supposed to be at the right times and all, and all that kind of stuff. And it definitely, working very hard in the academics definitely helps with the um, athletics side of things. The rest of Owen's journey beyond the diamond is one he is still cobbling together in the hopes of more organically finding his future once he gets on campus at Lake County. I'm not really sure yet, you know, it's, uh, it's a decision I probably won't take that lightly. You know, uh, I think it'll probably be business is what I'll start out with, but that could very well change into something else. But no matter what, going four years in business is going to help me with any sort of job that I'm going to have and uh, so yeah I don't know what road I'll go down but you know I'll just go as it takes me.